Hey, I'm Arcee and this is the episode 28 about creating an HTML5 video game. In the last episode I've covered one of the way to make it so the game size automatically matches the window size. So if the window is small, it still works fine. So the way I showed in the last video was to simply show more content. So for example, if I enlarge the screen, I can see more stuff. And this video will focus on the second method, which is to enlarge the pixels. So the pixels are larger, but you don't see more screen. Um, so even if you have a very big screen, you won't have an advantage over a player that has a smaller screen. So before getting started, there's one thing I want to make clear is that there will be two different types of pixels. The first type is the rendering pixel. So what is actually drawn on the screen? So that rock, for example, is 60 pixel tall, for example. So if I were to take a screenshot and count the pixels, there would be 60 pixels. Now, if I zoom with the game and let's say I'm at 200% zoom, then that rock is 120 pixels now. Now, the second type of pixel is what I call logic pixels. So this is the pixels used for collision and movement. So that rock over here is let's say at 100% zoom, so the normal zooming, that rock is 60 logical pixels. And logical pixel always stay the same. So even if I zoom in and the rock is drawn larger, it's still 60 logical pixel tall. So I don't need to alter the movement logic. I don't need to change the collision logic depending on the, the rendering size. It's always the same and it simplifies a lot of stuff. Um, so yes, the player will move more pixels, um, like rendering pixels per second if I'm zoomed in. So I'm moving more pixels, but relative to everything, I'm still moving the, the same way. And it's important to make the, the distinction between the two. So in the code, we need to have two different width and two different height. So one of them we will keep it width and height at 500. And then there will be the canvas height and uh, width and the canvas height. That will be the visible height and width. So what is actually drawn on the screen. So all the logic will be based on those numbers, but when we will be drawing stuff, we will be using those um, number over there. So now one thing to know when um, using the zooming method is that the width and the height over here will always be the same value. The only thing that will change is the zooming. So the Canva width and the Canva height. So over here, what we should do instead is put this over here. So whenever there's a change, we only change the zooming. And then at the end, so even though we change that variable, it does not actually affect the, the canvas over here. So what we need to add is something like this. So the style width will be equal to the number of pixels and pixel for the height. And I um, guess that's pretty much it. So let's see what happens after doing this. Okay, so this is how it looks in game. So it does work. So even if I change the zooming, I'm still seeing the same number of data. For example, I see that flower over here. Even if I enlarge my screen, I will still only see that flower. I cannot see more data, no matter what the zooming is. It will always be the same. The problem with the code right now, and we need to patch that, is that depending on the ratio of the window, if it's 500 by 500, so a 1-1 one -one ratio, it will look nice. But if the screen is um, very wide, then everything will be um, smaller, like distorted. So basically what we need to do is to make sure that the ratio, so the width height ratio is always one, if we don't want to have a distortion. So how it will work is that we try to find the largest possible square in the dimension of the window. So for example, the window is 800 by 400 then the largest square that we can make, so this, the size that we want, is 400 by 400. If the game screen size would be, let's say, 300 by 600, then the largest um, square would be 300 by 300. So it's basically the smallest, the smallest number. And code-wise, this is how it would look. So if the height is smaller than the width, so for example, in that case, 
then the width becomes equal to the height. And otherwise, it's the opposite. So it's the height that becomes equal to the width. There we go. So this is how it looks. We are trying to draw the largest possible square in the game. And if we enlarge it, then the square gets bigger. And the same thing goes when we make it higher. It works. So yeah, the code I've, I've written there only works if the ratio is 1, 1. So the height and the width is equal. So most likely for your game, you will not want a 1, 1 ratio. Uh, what you would want is something like 16 by 9. This is the ratio I, I personally use in Raining Chain. This is the ratio I would recommend. So we need to um, modify this a little bit. And the answer, the way we need to modify it is we divide by the ratio over here. We multiply by the ratio and we divide by the ratio. Now, if you want to know how I came up with this, you can simply um, do a little example. So let's say that the origin, the screen of the player is 160 by 80. Um, we know that the Mac, the, the ideal width would be um, 160 by 90 in order to respect the ratio. Um, so we need more height, okay? But we cannot get more height. So what we need to do is to decrease um, the width over here. And we need to decrease it a little bit. And the amount, if we fix the 80, so the 80 is fixed, then we need to apply the ratio and we come up with 142. So 142 is the largest 16 by nine rect um, rectangle that can fit in that ratio. And you can simply apply the same logic, but in reverse. So what if the height is too big or rather the, the width is too small, then we need to apply the ratio in reverse. So we do this divided by the ratio and we arrive at 90. So if this is the this game screen and that would be the ratio. This is the largest rectang rectangle we can draw. Actually, there's one final thing we need to change to make it properly. Um, so the logical pixel are used for collision or used for movement, that kind of stuff. Rendering pixel are for the canvas. So everything with the canvas. And if we check um, our canvas, it's used for the rendering, but also for another thing. It's used for the mouse position. Um, so right now we are using width divided by two and this no longer works. The width is always the same. Uh, but in our case, if we change the size of the screen, the mouse position will change. Um, so long story short, we need to use the canvas width over here to make it work. So this is how it looks. We have our 16 by nine ratio. And if we play with the size of the screen, everything works perfectly. Um, and for the mouse, it also works. So if I move my mouse around, the player moves, like follows the mouse. So I guess that will be pretty much it about this video. I hope you liked it and see.